Well, the strategies have been diverse. Um, I, I must say, in the 90s, the most effective strategy for us was, uh, you know, uh, recalcitrance, you know, just saying, uh, you know, Moi must go, for example, you know. <laughs> Our campaigns are modeled around, you know, <laughs> we don't like this guy. <laughs> I thought something must be done about this guy. And it was going out there on the street and making the slogans and the case for what you see as the object of inju your injustice. You know, we want that guy out of town. Uh, it worked then because I don't think the state then was willing to listen to, to anybody. And, and, and if it was not the social movement, uh, you know, the institutions that were, the urban organized groups that were pushing for change wouldn't have gone very far. Because until the social movements got out into the streets and made the, 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 the city ungovernable, for example, shops were closed, you know, public transport didn't take place, you know, paralyzed generally just the economic movement, uh, things wouldn't have moved the way they, they have moved to the point where now we had a whole transformation in terms of the constitution. It was also possible to do this because um, there was a lot of civic uh, awareness, uh, very intense. I mean, we did a lot of civic education. And I think we still need to do civic education because once people get to know what it is they should be championing, I think they take it over. Uh, those of us who are a little bit moderated and <laughs> systematic about things, eh? while we are still doing scenario building, the citizens, <laughs> the citizens left uh, and, you know, and they went with it. And, and, I, and I think we have to get to that point if, if we want our movement to succeed, get them to the point where they can pick the agenda and, and, and run with it. Uh, however, the fact that we've been working with interconnectedness and the contribution of different players uh, on different issues, I think has also been very helpful. So there have been people in the boardrooms you know, doing what needs to get done in the boardroom, and I think that has been very useful. There have been people looking for partners you know, international and national, to support, you know, the processes in which we have invested, that has also been extremely useful. And then there are those who have doubled directly, you know, on what needs to get done, uh, which has also been very, very, very useful. And the fact that institutions have also mutated, you know, some started out as CBOs and have grown into NGOs, you know, that has also been very helpful because Institutions are professionalized as we go along. Uh, I, I don't always agree that when they professionalize, they become better, but, you know, <laughs> people tend to say that that's a good thing. There has also been growth in individuals. There are individuals who started out as very humble community organizers. Somehow, over the years, they got baptized. You know, some got jailed, they got arrested for a few <laughs> hours, and learned a lot of useful lessons. <laughs> And became really strong, uh, you know, leaders in the 